ranking member of the full committee, I thought I ought to come and show my support for this hearing and the very important issue of crimes that are committed with individuals struggling with mental health issues. I was going to start out by talking about the Indianapolis situation, but the Senator Blumenthal already covered that very well. So I will move on to a fact that earlier this month, the tragedy stuck uh, when a 25-year-old man rammed his vehicle into the security barricade just mere steps from this chamber. As we all know, this man's actions tragically took the life of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans. While the Capitol's attacker's exact motives is unknown, social media profiles indicate the man was a follower of a group that reportedly holds racist, anti-Semitic, anti-LGBTQ beliefs. It's uh, too early to tell if those beliefs motivated this man to commit the act of terrorism, but what is clear is the man was struggling with mental health issues. Today we're talking about red flag laws. I think that we should be looking into possible solutions for gun violence, so a hearing is the right thing to do. And so I thank you for having this hearing. I do think that red flag laws are generally a state rather than federal issue. I also want to state my strong belief that any state that does decide to enact red flag laws should do so with strong due process protections uh, to safeguard an important constitutional right. And I just heard what Senator Blumenthal said about those strong due process laws and just want to make sure that they're always followed. But I also want to say that red flag laws are scarcely the only option for ensuring the persons with mental issues are prevented from engaging in violence or self-harm. Uh, so I turn to some legislation I put in that has bipartisan support called the Eagles Act of 2021, a common sense piece of legislation building upon what the Secret Service successfully does uh, over a period of decades. This bill carries the namesake of the Parkland, Florida, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School mascot, the Eagles, and it's a tribute to the 17 Eagles who tragically lost their lives three years ago at the hands of a fellow student who long struggled with severe behavioral problems and mental health problems. And if he'd been sent to, uh, to get help that he ought to had, he would have been in the database and wouldn't been able to purchase a gun. Uh, this legislation helps proactively mitigate threats of violence in our country through reauthorizing and expanding the U.S. Secret Service's National Threat Assessment Center, also known as NTAG. A family member, teacher, coach, fellow employee, or neighbor's ability to observe someone's behavior, home life circumstances, work-life factors, and other potential stressors, coupled with NTAG's threat assessment training can prevent harmful outcomes from occurring. But in order for this to be effective, we need to increase NTAC's capacity to continue their research and threat assessment training. Just this week, the Eagles Act got the resounding endorsement from the National Association of Attorneys General. 40 attorneys general from all over the United States believe that NTAC proactive approach is critical to violence prevention. We cannot afford to ignore their urgent pleas of assistance. So I ask my colleagues, hopefully all of them, to support the Eagles Act. The more research and threat assessment and training that can come from it, uh, we uh, can provide the more violence we can prevent. Thank you.